It's 37 degrees. It is cold. Good morning, YouTube. This is Cruise Man. Welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. The channel for everything Honda Goldwing. If you love the Goldwing or you just love motorcycling in general, you are in the right place. It is a cold Friday morning here in Carrollton, Texas. I'm leaving my morning coffee as usual, which was is when I usually do my uh, motor vlogs. And it is 30, 30, it was 34 degrees when I left this morning. Now it looks like it's up to about 38 degrees. I'm not sure if I can trust the thermos thermometer on this uh, or temperature sensor on this Goldwing because uh, the internet said it's 34 degrees right now I've got everything cranked up I got the heated grips uh, on level 3 and the heated seat on level 3 which is good enough uh, plus I have my uh, my new Kimimoto gloves I'm trying out the large size instead of the extra large and uh, they are actually a little a little bit just a little bit too small I actually the, the extra large are better for me but these are okay I can make it work and they are actually pretty warm um, even down in this uh, temperature this is cold for me so some of you guys you know it gets pretty cold where you are now in Texas where we live in Dallas Fort Worth you know 34 degrees is pretty cold and it can get windy here so sometimes we get a wind chill factor when it's 34 degrees you might have a wind chill factor down around 23 24 degrees fortunately today it's calm so it's actually not uncomfortable I'm still wearing my mesh jacket my uh, Olympia air glide mesh jacket with the liner underneath plus I have a long sleeve flannel shirt on which helps and uh, I'm comfortable uh, the air gauge says 39 degrees outside I could I could uh, ride on the highway no problem with this a little update on my pin lock shield it's probably hard to see in the video but I'm actually getting some fogging on this pin lock some moisture is forming and it shouldn't be now it, this happened to me uh, yesterday and when I got home I took the helmet off and I was concerned that maybe the moisture was forming between my face shield and the pin lock but it wasn't it was actually on the inside of the pin lock so I checked to see if there were any leaks uh, between the seal and the face shield I took a little uh, piece of paper and tried to slip it up in there between all the way around that that silicone seal and it looks to me like it's got a good seal now when I get home I'm gonna remove the pin lock shield and reinstall it just to make sure but I am getting a little bit of fogging on this uh, pin lock shield but it's not bad I can still see fine so it is November 1st hope you all had a happy Halloween last night our October promotion ended at midnight last night I think some of you might have snuck in around 1 in the morning and still got the deal because of our time the way we have the time uh, zone set up on the website but nevertheless, uh, we are now in November. For those of you who are subscribers to our 2018 plus Goldwing maintenance videos, 
uh, you will be seeing these new videos show up in your library today in fact I'm heading home right now and I will be spending the rest of the day getting those videos uploaded to Vimeo so that they will show up in your library and I'll also mention if you are a subscriber I would appreciate it if you would uh, put in a review of what you think of the videos and there's a couple of ways you can do that you can do it through my website I'll put a link down below where you can submit a review you can also do it through my Facebook page submit a Facebook review at uh, facebook.com slash cruisemans garage we really do appreciate it. the October promotion was super successful and uh, really appreciate all of you that uh, took advantage of that offer I think you will be happy and I know that you're gonna pay for these videos the first time or two that you use them so you'll get your money back no problem getting back to the cold temperatures um, this is about my limit I I don't usually ride when it's under 40 degrees I certainly the only reason I did it this morning is because I wanted to talk about riding in the cold I want to check out this pin lock and it's fogging up a little more now in fact I might have to crack my face shield just to get it to dry off a little bit which is shouldn't that should not be necessary but I also uh, rode today because there's no wind so I figured I could take 35 degrees as long or 34 degrees as long as there's no wind and it, it actually is a beautiful morning it's just cold now for some of those for the for some of you that ride in cold weather routinely you have electric gear you know electric vests or jackets and maybe even electric pants I don't know what all they make now and so this is nothing for you you know 34 degrees is probably a walk in the park for you guys but for me uh, this is kind of at my limit so I'd prefer it to be around 50 degrees 48 to 55 degrees to me that's perfect riding weather but being Texas we either get broiling heat or cold windy weather every now and then we get a pretty day somebody put a comment on one of my videos yesterday about I guess he was watching my motor vlog talked about how the streets and a lot of traffic and it looks flat here it looks like pretty boring riding and he's right there's not much to see where we live you pretty much have to ride your bike 250 miles to get to anything worth seeing maybe go up to Arkansas uh, eastern Oklahoma yeah Dallas Fort Worth is not the place for scenery but for those of you who do ride in cold weather and you still have the previous generation Goldwing and you're considering a 2018 plus Goldwing this bike especially with the F4 customs windshield that I have provides adequate protection plus I have the upper air deflectors which help and some of you have the lower air deflectors and they you say they really do help I don't have those but some of you do so the bike does provide pretty good protection from the elements but nothing like the previous generation Goldwing that bike gives you a lot more protection on your legs it has that bigger wider fairing and that bigger wider windshield so you know if you're a routinely a cold weather riding person uh, the f the fifth generation Goldwing is probably uh, a better bike to protect you from cold weather than is the 2018 to 2020 Goldwing no I'm just being honest I mean it just this bike just does not protect you from the elements uh, like that bike did I think this is a better 
summer warm weather riding bike than the previous generation for that reason. But where we live in Texas, um, you know, I can ride probably 330 days out of the year. Unless it's raining or snowing or ice or something like that, I'm usually riding my bike. Or if it's under 35 degrees, 37 degrees, or windy, I won't ride. But I'll bet I ride certainly more than 300 days out of the year, if we're in town, obviously. So, you know, that's my cold weather riding update for the 2018 Plus Goldwing. I'd love to hear your comments, uh, what kind of heated gear you wear, what kind of temperatures you ride in, how cold will you ride, what's the coldest temperature you'll ride in? Just curious. I think the coldest temperature I ever rode in was out of Amarillo, and it was like 26 degrees when I left one morning to come back to Dallas-Fort Worth. And I believe that's the coldest I've ridden in. So I'd be anxious to hear your comments on the subject. Hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the little subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos. Thanks again for joining us today, and I'll talk to you next time on the next Cruise Man's Motovlogs.